Hello friends, this is Scott, and today is the day to tackle Cousin It, which is the big umbrella tree in my front yard that, yeah, looks like Cousin It from the Adams family. Uh, it's funny how these trees are one of the last to leaf out, and they sure take off when they get going. Next thing you know, the leaves are touching the ground, so it's time to give this guy a, a haircut so that everything else around it can grow also. Now, Cousin It was an original planting, I believe, at this house, and I think it's around a 30-year-old tree. Well, I've owned this home for 20 years, and it is, uh, it's been this large, it seems like, and even it was even bigger. It had a double crown. Now, it's had a little bit of a lean because of the shade issues and with some other trees, and it, was, it would always lead toward the sun, and it created another crown that I cut out a few years ago. So it used to have kind of a double but it was uh, going to pull it out of the ground, so I had to cut that first, uh, first of the heads off the tree and just leaving it to one. While these stems are growing, you can pretty much just break them off with your hand, very simply. You can't do this when they harden up a little bit, but you can do it just with your hand, or you can just take cutters. And for 20 years, I uh, just used pruners. Well, a guy named Dave's Hanger, uh, somebody who was viewing my video, commented that, you know, wouldn't a uh, tree trimmer work a lot better? And uh, didn't even think about it. So it's kind of funny how you do certain jobs and you keep doing them, keep doing them. And I own two of these tree trimmers, and I didn't think once about using it to, to prune this tree and, and or trim this tree. And I had, it's just kind of funny why I didn't. But, well, thanks, Dave's Hanger. Uh, you definitely had a good idea. It makes light work of this, of this job. Pruning is as simple as choosing a height and just trying to be consistently level and just going around the tree and and just whacking off the branches with this with this trimmer. And it definitely uh, made light work of this. So I'm just going to go around the entire base to start with. And you can see there's some scragglers that are kind of poking out all around it and up on top. So I'll just go up and down on this and uh, just try to whack off some of these. And it makes pretty it's pretty easy. Now I know somebody's going to mention in my next uh comment section that, oh, maybe you should use a ladder on this. And uh, you're absolutely right. A ladder will be used next time. But, you know, I'm 6'3". This tree's not the tallest tree in the world. So I, with the trimmer, I can reach everything pretty much. But, yeah, a ladder would have been an appropriate tool to use. And, yes, I do own several ladders. And, uh, yes, I'll probably get the ladder out the next time. But, but not today. I've already got started on this, and I'm going to just go for it and I'll get her done on my tippy toes one way or the other. Now from this angle you can see the kind of the lean. You know, you can see it's leaning a little bit forward. A lot of the growth is uneven. It's still a very attractive tree though once I get it pruned up, but once they lean, you know, I'm not gonna straighten this tree. I can prune it to shape, but that's it's never gonna be perfect and that's okay. Again, in my yard, uh, I don't expect perfection, I just want it to look decent. But some of these taller ones, yeah, I should have had the ladder because they were, they, I fought with them a little bit to get some of these uh, at the very, very top. But I persevered and, and uh, I was successful. Here's a look at the finished product. Now this tree hasn't totally filled in as, it, as well as it will as the season progresses. So my next pruning, uh, this tree will look a little fuller. But it's got a few bald spots and, and it does, definitely does have the lean you know, it's leaning you know, forward and leaning toward me right here in this, in this view. But once you get it pruned up from the beginning when it looks like crap to the finished prune job and doesn't look too shabby as we walk up the stairs to into the house. Well, thanks for watching today's video. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.